Welcome to the Soho Network Tutorial, Level 1, Basic. A quick tutorial outline. I'm going to do some introductions, discuss what kind of hardware that I'm going to use to set up a Soho network, and then the software that I'm going to use on that Soho network, and give you an outline of my network plan for the Soho. And then I'll go step by step and setting up first the router firewall, then the managed switch, and then the Wi Fi access point. My name is Mujahid Jalil, and I'm based in Melbourne, Australia. My occupation is an IT professional. I've got over 12 years of experience. I'm a master's in information system management and also a CompTIA certified Linux Plus professional. What is a Soho network? A Soho is a short for a small office or home office. And a Soho network is a much sophisticated setup than a home broadband network. It involves using an enterprise grade router firewall like PFSense, maybe a managed switch like a TP-Link SG-108PE, and maybe a Wi-Fi access point like Unify. And why would you want to set up a Soho network for your business or home office? To host network services such as a VPN, a storage server like FreeNAS, a database service like uh, MariaDB, and a web server like Nginx and so on and so forth, on an in-house rather than hosting over the internet uh, with third-party service providers like Google, Amazon, Microsoft. And why would you want to set up these services in-house? Because it gives you more control over your data and network services, and maybe due to uh, lower data storage and hosting costs than with those third-party providers that I mentioned earlier. Because uh, I've got like over four terabytes of personal data and uh, I don't want to, I, I don't feel comfortable share, sharing that or hosting that on the cloud with Google or Amazon. And sometimes they don't give you the kind of flexibility to host those network services, the kind of flexibility that I can get hosting them and configuring them uh, in-house locally. Let's go into some basic differences between a home broadband network and a Soho network. Number one. Home broadband, broadband Network provides only internet access to local users and devices, and that's it. There are no local services ho hosted. Now on the Soho side, it provides network services in addition to internet access to local users and devices. On the Home Broadband Network, you use a consumer-grade broadband modem router firewall. Uh, once you sign up with the ISP, they send you a, a single modem for router firewall and nowadays it's wireless on the soho side you need an enterprise grade router firewall like pfsense number three no managed or smart switch required you don't need a managed switch but if you run out of ports on the home broadband uh, router if you need extra ports you can always get a dumb switch with no uh, vlans or network segmentation needed and on the Soho side, a managed switch is highly recommended because you need to segment your network into different subnets. You're going to need, and the way to uh, accomplish that is to use VLANs, and VLANs are only available on a managed switch. Number four, it's simple to set up and maintain. You sign up with the internet broadband service uh, with your local ISP, they send you in a modern router. And then you plug that in and then you plug your all your devices into that uh, modern router and that's it and if something goes wrong which is usually the modern router if it goes if it burns out you can only replace one device you don't have to replace everything else on the soho side it is a complicated setup and and it is complicated to maintain as well you need a little bit of technical know-how to set up the routers and the managed switch and the wi-fi access point because instead of being on a single device they're separated a router is a separate machine and a switch is a separate machine and the unify access point is a separate device and you need to configure uh, subnets and vlans on both the router and the managed switch to get it to work and if something goes wrong, you need to replace a single device and sometimes maybe all of the devices, depending on what kind of a problem that you get. 
Number five, network services are hosted and provided by third party providers over the internet or cloud. Storage, your mail, your emails, uh, your websites, your streaming servers, they're all hosted on the cloud instead of on your in house or on premise. Network services, some or maybe all of them, are hosted in house on premise locally. Number six, a very low to low cost. It doesn't cost much to get internet access, broadband access on the home broadband. All you need is a ISP internet broadband subscription and they send out a modem router so you can hook that up and then you're connected to the internet and that's it. Uh, on the Soho side, the cost may be from low to significant because you need high end equipment, uh, more than a single device. For example, you need a separate device for a router a separate device for a switch, separate device for a Wi-Fi access point. And if you're hosting some network services, you need a whole bunch of rack servers in a rack number seven. Since all of your hosting data is, all of your data and your services are hosted on the internet or the cloud, you're mainly dependent on the broadband speed of your broadband. Number seven, slow or metered access to large amounts of data. If you're storing your data uh, on the cloud with one of those internet providers, number seven, slow or metered access to large amounts of data. If you're storing your data uh, on the cloud, your data access is very dependent on the bandwidth of your broadband. If you have a slow broadband, access to large amounts of data will be uh, slow. And if you're on a metered access, if you get a total allowance, it's not unlimited download or upload data allowance. It will be metered and you can only use so much of it. As opposed to on a Soho network, all your data and is and services are stored locally on premise. So you have, you're dependent on the bandwidth of your switch and your router, which is over a one gigabit as opposed to my personal ISP speed is like 100 megabits, which isn't much, but it's okay for internet surfing. But I would not download or upload a whole lot of data with that. And uh, and there's no metered access to that when you're storing data locally. Is this your own network? And what kind of user use home broadband network? It's your household members plus the guests that you get to give them some uh, Wi-Fi access. On the Soho side, if you're running a business from home or a separate uh, home office, it's household members plus guests uh, on the Wi-Fi and plus the business staff and also remote staff. If you have some remote staff that uh, VPN into your local Soho network, you can set that up as well. So these are the users and devices that use uh, on the Soho. Here's a typical uh, diagram of a home broadband network setup. This is the wireless modem uh, router that you get from your uh, ISP when you sign up and you connect all your devices in your household to this device. And then that is connected to the internet and that way you have access to the services available on the internet, uh, like a VPN, internet search, storage, mail, and streaming like Netflix, YouTube, and here's the logical design of a, uh, a very sophisticated Soho network. Here, this is our on-premise in-house site where router firewall, which is going to be the PFSense, is connected to, is, it's an edge router. It's connected to the internet. And from that inter, uh, edge router, there's a trunk port going towards, connected to the managed switch. And then all the other devices are connected to that managed switch. Logically, this is how it's going to be set up. You can connect another complete off-site network, another Soho network via the internet through to VPN traffic. And physically, this is going to look like this. The managed switch is placed in the middle and it's it has an ethernet connection going into the NBN internet modem box in my case. And it's on a separate VLAN. And then uh, my PS Sense router has a direct link into the managed switch, a physical link. These red arrows and the green arrows are physical links. But logically, as I showed you earlier, this is the edge router. 
all the traffic flows through here first and then is disseminated via the managed switch and this is how all the services and devices running on the soho network will get their internet access thanks for watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to really support this channel and also check out the affiliate links in the description below